In this presentation, we are going to be looking at uh, processing raw data. Now, in order to, to score on your IA, you need to do some processing. Now, I'm using the pendulum data that I had before, and we're going to try and process this data. And uh, firstly, the, the first thing that one will always do when you have repeat reading, so you've got, you've got the same length and it was repeated six times, you will find the average. So you're going to have the average there. Um, and that will come in. So automatically you have uh, processed data. So that, that is fine. Uh, then we're going to find our error. Um, and to do that, we to find the error, you find your maximum value minus the minimum value divided by 2 and that will come in there so we'll put that in there and that will be the the error for the period now in this case we're going to have further um, further um, processing of the data and for here we need to look at our theory now the theory for this is that the period is equal to 2 pi the square root of the length divided by g the gravi uh, acceleration due to gravity now if I change this formula around I would get t squared is equal to 4 pi squared over g l that's just by doing some simple um, by doing some simple algebra now this formula over here we are going to use and if I want to plot a graph that is going to be a proportional graph. And we always try and do this. I need to plot my graph. Um, obviously, I am going to have my independent variable on the on the uh, horizontal, on the x-axis. And I'm going to have my dependent variable. And in this case, it's going to be t squared. T squared. And if I plot t squared against L, I'm going to get a straight line that should go through the origin there. And the slope of this, the m, would equal to 4 pi uh, squared over g. And so from that slope, I'll be able to work out my, my g value, which I can then compare to the accepted value. So for this, I'm going to have to also do some processing. I'm going to have to find my t squared in my graph, find my t squared value. Um, I'm also going to have to find my error in in t squared. Um, so that will be another important point uh, to get. So there's a there's quite a lot of processing that will take place in here. So let's um, let's start off firstly by finding the average. And I just write that in here. Average. Sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Average. And that's also going to be in seconds. And to do that, I just put an E. Uh, it's already in there, so I've got that. And I just put my number in. And then I just drag it across. These are all the values that I'm going to be doing. I close brackets and I say enter. And there we have it. That's my average value. And I bring it across and there I've got all my average values. Now I'm going to find my error. And this will also be in seconds. Notice that um, I always put my unit in. And for this, this is E, and um, you probably need two brackets here. I'm going to find the maximum value, and I'm going to again click on. Um, this will find the maximum value of these. Close brackets, minus, and then I'm going to find the minimum value. And again, I click on there, and I why, why is this not working? Oh dear me. Well, I can just type it in actually. It's, if that's not working, you can always just type it in. It's going to go to G3. 
close brackets and then I'm going to close brackets again and I'm going to divide that by 2 and I get my value there and then I can just um, drag that formula down all the way down and it does that. Now notice in here I have got these to a number of decimal places now I always want my error to be one significant figure um, one well one actual value so for this I'm going to bring it down to one and if I bring it down another one there I've got it into one here I'm going to find the period squared um, and so I can bring in my toolbox here I'm going to do that my period squared and that is now I need to put, put my unit remember it's going to be S squared there we have that. Oops. Uh, sorry, it just takes a bit of time. Must remember to unclick that. And there I have that. And to do that, I'm just obviously going to go equals. I'm going to take my average value and I am going to square it. So I use that sign there and then I say OK and I bring that down now again I've got two significant figures here so I'm going to bring that all into uh, two decimal places there I'll bring that down to two decimal places and then finally um, for this one over here my error my error in period um, squared and again this is going to be in seconds squared notice that I always have my units in this is a, a bit more of a, of a complicated formula it's not too complicated but what I've got to do is I've got to take my period um, my average and I've got to add it on with my error and then I've got to square it and I've got to minus it uh, the average minus the error and then I've got to divide it all together so let's just write that formula in uh, we're going to have brackets let's put in two brackets we're going to have this plus this my error close brackets and then I'm going to square that and then I'm going to have minus uh, let's open another bracket that minus my error and I'm going to square that squared and I'm going to close brackets and then I'm going to divide that all by 2 let's hope that formula works ah yes it works that's nice and then I'm going to drag that all the way down and I've got that and again I reduce that and I reduce it all the way down like that this um, I can I can put it that it is um, so that you can see the whole thing so you push alignment and you say wrap text and you say OK and there it is there and I can maybe just extend that so I can see my whole graph make sure that you also make sure that it's still all in a table um, and you do that by clicking over there so that's all in a table so we've got actually all our information that we need we see that we've got the same number of significant figures or decimal places probably decimal places is the best one to work with and um, we've got our error in the period squared we've got our period squared we've worked out our error we've worked out our average value and um, that is all our processing that we're going to need to do 
for for this graph.